okay so in the previous video we completed our splash screen and now in this video we will work on our login page dot that so first of all right here we will use the switch statement okay and in that we will check that if the authenticate has some error then we will show the user that sign in failed or if the authentication is cancelled then we will show that to the user that sign in cancelled or login cancelled and if the user is authenticated or as you can say if the user is successfully logged in then we will show the user that sign in success and after that we will redirect the user to the home screen so for doing that first of all right here we will say auth provider okay select the first one and make sure to import the auth provider dot at the top then we will say auth provider and this will be equals to provider dot of auth provider and right here we will say context and for this we need to import the provider dot at library at the top after this we will use the switch statement so right here we will say that auth provider dot status and the first case will be for the authentication error so for that we will say that status dot authenticate error so if the authentication has any error then in the flutter toast we will show a message which will be sign in failed and then we will break this statement right there then we will use another case and in here the status will be authenticate cancel so if it is cancelled then in the flutter toast we will show that sign in cancelled then after this the next case will be dot authenticated so if the authenticate is successful then in the flutter toast we will show that sign in succeed success or succeed succeed and make sure to add a break right here and write down below here as well and then the default will be as empty then right here we will return a scaffold and inside this scaffold we will add a background color which will be colors dot black bit 7 then in the body we will add a column widget and its main access element will be dot center then in the children we will add a padding with it in here the padding will be agent set total 20.0 then we will add a image asset and inside the images folder we have a image name back dot png that's it and outside this padding we will add a size box then padding again and we will just copy this padding from here paste down below and right here inside this child we will have a gesture detector and on the on tab we will say that if 
this bool is success is equals to await auth provider dot handle sign in so if the user is successfully sign in or you can say that if success then we will simply redirect the user to the home page so we can just copy this navigator from here paste it right here and then import the home underscore page dot dot at the top then after this font tab we will add a child and then a image asset inside the images folder we have a image by the name of google underscore login dot jpg then at the end right here we will add a position and right here we will say auth provider dot status so if the auth provider status is equals to authenticating okay so if it is authenticating then we will show the loading view make sure to import it at the top as well this is inside this all widgets okay this loading view stateless widget in which we have this circular indicator bar so if it is authenticating then we will show the loading bar else we will say that size box dot shrink and that's it now the last thing which we need to do before testing our login page is that enabled our firestore database in the storage so for that open up the firebase and right here click on this firestore database and right here click on this create database select this option which is start and test boot click next now click on this enable now as you can see our database is ready to go but first of all click on this rules remove this line from here and we will say true that's it click on this publish and as you can see that it is successfully now published now click on this storage then click on this rules remove this line from here and instead of that type true click on publish and as you can see the changes are now made and our storage is ready to go now let's back, back to the android studio and let's restart our application so as you can see it is running and we are redirected to the login screen now if we click on this sign in with google as you can see it shows the progress bar and now as you can see it gives us the option that which account should i choose for the google sign in let me select the first account and now it will create my account and also it will login us to our chat app as you can see it shows that sign in success and we are on the home page now and it is showing as black because on the home page we don't have anything as you can see now quickly let's just check the authentication and as you can see right here this is the email from which we sign in and as well as login now let's see the firestore database as you can see we have the users collection then we have this specific id for this user okay which is the user phone id the chatting with is returned as null as we did in the code in the previous videos this is the nickname this is the photo url and all of that 
and also let's check the storage okay this is as empty for now because we didn't add anything to our storage yet so now this means that our authentication is now working and in the upcoming videos we will work on our home and we will add many more features so see you guys in the upcoming videos